Hi, this is Yi Qing. Thanks for your interest in our work, Common Domain Knowledge Guardian Interaction Recommendation for Emerging Scenarios. Let's first start with our problem setting and challenge. We are focusing on the interaction recommendation problem. Basically, in a social platform, we are going to predict with whom a user wants to interact. For example, a user can share an item or product with others on Taobao. Previous methods mainly focus on a single scenario with one type of interaction. For example, follow or like on Twitter. But in the real world, there are always different scenarios where the users may have different behaviors. For example, we may message many people, but we only want to share videos with people having the common interest with us. Secondly, there are newly emerging scenarios with limited data. For example, we may have new game releases, new sales promotions. These emerging scenarios may or may not have the same features as the existing scenarios. With the challenges of different scenarios, different user behaviors, and newly emerging scenarios with limited data, we formulate the problem of interaction recommendation as future link prediction on multiplex graphs. You can see the illustration on the top right corner. Basically, we consider each user as a node and each interaction between users as an edge. In this example, we have four users. The different scenarios become different edge types, where we have three edge types in this case, share video, share subscription, and contact. Finally, emerging scenarios become new edge types in our formulation, which corresponds to the fuchsia setting. As shown on the illustration below, the new scenario, share video, has only limited observed edges compared to the existing scenarios, share subscription and contact. We are the first one to claim the problem of interaction recommendation, but there are some existing problems that are related to our setting. The first one is called representation learning of multiplex graphs. Basically, in these methods, each edge type trains its own parameters on its own individual data, which will lead to overfitting for emerging scenarios where there are only limited training data. Another one is called meta-learning, which aims to quickly adapt to a model to individual tasks. However, general meta-learning methods learns a set of global parameters for all the diverse scenarios. In this way, it may not have enough customization for each individual scenario. There are also methods that encourage edge types with similar topological structures to share more parameters. However, this cannot be well applied to emerging scenarios as well, as emerging scenarios only have a few edges available, so it cannot capture the topological structures well. Here are our observation in, under this setting. In the real world, there is generally domain knowledge that reflects the meaning of different scenarios. For example, a taxonomy may organize the scenarios by their purposes and functions. In this picture, we have shared video and shared subscription under the node of content, and the contact is about the social relations between users. Intuitively, user behaviors under scenarios with similar purposes and functions are also similar. In our initial experiment, which is the illustration below, we initialize the parameter of a new scenario, um, which is share video, by copying the parameters of the existing scenarios one by one, which are share subscription and contact in this case. We observe that copying the parameters of a scenario with similar semantic meaning, which is share subscription and share video in this case, actually leads to better results. With the observation above, we propose our methods, common, domain knowledge guided meta learning. 
Our model has two modules. The first one is called Domain Knowledge Guided Scenario Representation Learning. Basically, this module、um, initializes the representation of each scenario based on the domain knowledge, which is about the function and purpose of each scenario. And then our model updates the representation of each scenario based on the training data. Another module is called Scenario Similarity Aware Link Prediction. Basically, we encourage scenarios with similar representations to aggregate the information of the graph in similar ways. Then we utilize a mixture of expert structure, which can reduce the variance of the aggregating coefficients of different、um, different slices or different edge types of the graph. Finally. We optimize these two modules by meta learning, which we use scenario specific initialization. Here is the general framework of our model. The bottom part is our domain knowledge guided scenario representation learning module. We can see that we initialize the scenario representations from this taxonomy, which we use to represent our domain knowledge. The top right is our second module, scenario similarity aware link prediction. We can see that we have three edge types in this case, two existing edge types and one new edge type. All of them are aggregated through a GNN, and have their own representation. The top left is our optimization part. We use meta learning with scenario specific initialization. In the first module, we use Poincaré embeddings to encode the domain knowledge of a taxonomy into initial scenario representations. These initial representations are fixed during training, and we feed this initial representation through a neural network to obtain the updated representations. The structure of the neural network can be very simple. Even if the knowledge is not perfect, the neural network could still adjust the representations from the training data. As for the scenario similarity aware link prediction module, we first use an GNN graph neural network to encode the information of each edge type in a base embedding. Here is an example of one GNN layer. Then we use a mixture of expert structure to facilitate the prediction, where each expert aggregates information from all existing edge types with its own parameters. Scenarios with similar representations will share the similar expert and then have the similar aggregation coefficients. Finally, we combine the results of our GNN. And the output of our mixture of expert to get the final node embedding. Here is the detailed structure of our mixture of expert. Basically, each expert computes the weighted average of the base embeddings of all existing edge types UI using self-attention mechanism. Then different scenarios combine the outputs of the expert with different coefficients. The coefficient is based on their representations, where we learn from the、um, scenario representation learning module. In this way, experts with similar representations will use the expert in a similar way, and then aggregate the information of the graph in similar ways. We also compare our methods to a multiplex graph learning method, Gatney. Where each scenario directly learns a set of coefficients over existing edge types, where we have five as existing edge types in the illustration below. So, um, in Gatney, the coefficients could spread in the whole edge type simplex, and for an emerging scenario, its coefficient will likely to converge to extreme solutions. Like it will rely on only one existing edge type. In contrast, in our model, all the scenarios update the experts, 
and each scenario has its own weights over the experts. In the illustration, we first train an expert simplex inside the edge type simplex, which is the triangle in this illustration. In this way, the coefficient of each edge type is confined to the expert simplex. This reduces the number of scenario-specific parameters and hence relieve overfitting. Finally, we optimize the model using meta-learning. Compared to the traditional meta-learning, which uses same global initialization for all the diverse tasks, our methods use scenario-specific initialization, which is determined by both the training data and the domain knowledge. Here we introduce the datasets used in our experiments. We work on a new problem, so we adapt the public dataset YouTube by splitting the edge types into train, validation, and test edge types. We also create a new dataset, Taobao, based on the real industrial data. Basically, each dataset has its own domain knowledge, which is in the form of taxonomy that organizes the scenarios by their function and purpose. We test the performance on node pairs with or without edges for both emerging scenarios and existing ones, what we call fuchsia setting and supervised setting. We can see that our methods all perform baseline methods a lot under the fuchsia setting. Basically, we can see that um, HSML and Metagraph also extracts a task representation directly from the training data, either by the VAE or GCN. This could be ineffective when the training data is limited, especially for large and sparse graphs like Taobao. We can see that HSML outperforms MAMO on YouTube, but it is outperformed by MAMO on Taobao. This problem is relieved in our methods with the help of domain knowledge. Our model can also outperform the baselines under the supervised setting. Basically, our model is reduced to Gatney when each scenario is forced to use its own expert. For the tail scenarios with limited data, it may also lead to suboptimal results like for the emerging scenarios. We can see that tree MMOE also leverage domain knowledge, but it hard codes the taxonomy into the um, model structure, which cannot be adapted to the future setting. Our model used the knowledge in a more flexible way compared to tree MMOE. We also provide the results for performance breakdown. We basically we divide the 20 scenarios in Taobao into small, medium, and large by their size of training data. The improvement of small and large scenarios are most obvious. We assume that the small scenarios share the experts with large tasks or scenarios, which are updated more completely. We observe that larger scenarios are always related to more scenarios. For example, in reality, when a game is popular, the platform will develop other games to attract more users. So the domain knowledge helps groups these tasks together which can be viewed as data augmentation for all of them. We provide a case study on the Tmall from Stew tasks. On the left, we compare the KL divergence between Tmall from Stew and some other scenarios. The updated scenario representations of all follows the taxonomy, but there are still some exceptions. In this case, um, we can see that shop and coupon have the same distance to Timor from Stew, but uh, the KL divergence between Timor from Stew are quite different. We can see that um, users can get discounts by both playing the Timor from game and sharing coupons. So we assume that this is the reason that Timor from Stew and coupon shares more commonality and hence have smaller KL divergence in their representations. On the right, we initialize the parameter of Timo from Stew 
by copying those of the existing scenarios. We can see that copying from scenarios with similar updated representations tend to have better results. This again shows our representations truly capture scenario similarities. In conclusion, we propose a new problem, which is facial interaction recommendation that predicts with whom a user wants to interact on the newly emerging scenarios. We also propose a new solution, which is called Domain Knowledge Guided Meta Learning Framework, which combines domain knowledge and data driven learning and utilizes a mixture of expert structure to reduce the variance and relieve overfitting. In the future, we may consider adding multiple taxonomies in this, um, in this model, because there are more than one way to organize the scenarios in real lives. We can also use other forms of domain knowledge, for example, a passage describing the function of each scenario. We can also focus on more complicated scenario relationships. In this work, we only consider the similarity between the scenarios, but there are actually more complicated relationships like causal relationships in the reality. Thank you for your interest in both our paper and our presentation.